Do you find it hard to trust people? It's a simple question, yet it holds immense weight. Trust is a fundamental aspect of our relationships and interactions, but sometimes trust can become a stumbling block, a hurdle that seems almost impossible to overcome. Trust issues can spring from a multitude of factors, subtly creeping into various aspects of our lives, often without us even realizing. Today, we're going to explore this intricate topic and identify the eight signs that might suggest you're grappling with trust issues. Let's delve into the eight signs that you may have trust issues. The first sign is difficulty opening up. It's not always easy to share our deepest thoughts and feelings with others. It can feel like standing on a stage, naked and exposed, but it's crucial to remember that emotional transparency is the bedrock of any meaningful relationship. It's the bridge that connects two hearts, fostering understanding, empathy, and love. But what happens when this bridge seems too daunting to cross? When sharing your thoughts feels like climbing Mount Everest without a rope? This could be a sign that you're grappling with trust issues. You might find yourself hesitating to share your feelings with others, afraid of being judged, misunderstood, or rejected. This fear can create a fortress around your heart, isolating you from those who care about you. It's important to realize that opening up doesn't mean you're weak. It means you're brave enough to let others see your true self. If opening up feels like a struggle, you might be dealing with trust issues. Sign number two is constant suspicion. Imagine a world where every interaction is veiled with doubt, every gesture is second-guessed, and every word is scrutinized for hidden meanings. This is what life can feel like for someone struggling with trust issues. Constant suspicion, especially without clear reasons, can be a significant symptom of this struggle. It's like carrying a heavy backpack of doubt wherever you go, questioning the motives of others, even when there's no concrete evidence to justify this suspicion. This can cause harm to relationships, as trust is the foundation of any healthy bond. When suspicion becomes the norm, it creates a wall between people, causing isolation and misunderstanding. It may even push loved ones away, as nobody enjoys being under constant scrutiny. Remember, being suspicious all the time can be exhausting and damaging. It's like a thief in the night that robs the joy of genuine connections. The third sign is difficulty accepting compliments. Now this might seem a bit odd at first, after all, who doesn't love a good compliment, right? But for some, receiving praise can be a complex and uncomfortable experience. This discomfort can stem from low self-esteem or trust issues. You see, when you struggle with self-worth, a compliment can feel like it's challenging your reality. It's as if someone's telling you the sky is green when you've always seen it as blue. It just doesn't compute. Trust issues can also complicate the acceptance of compliments. If you're always second-guessing people's intentions, a simple compliment can seem disingenuous or manipulative. But here's the thing. Compliments are a form of positive human interaction. They're meant to uplift, to encourage, to validate. When you dismiss them, you're denying yourself these benefits. So if you find yourself deflecting praise, remember this. Accepting compliments graciously is a part of healthy communication. Sign four is having trouble trusting new people. An individual's natural instinct may be to protect oneself from potential harm, and this can sometimes manifest as difficulty in trusting new people without concrete reasons. This is a common sign of trust issues. Imagine you meet someone new, and your first instinct is to put up walls to keep them at a safe distance. You're not quite sure why, but you feel it's safer this way. This is a clear sign that you are struggling with trust. But here's the catch. Trust, like respect, is earned, not given. It's perfectly okay to take your time to get to know someone, to let them earn your trust. However, it's also important to give people a chance. Not everyone is out there to hurt you. In fact, you might be pleasantly surprised by the kindness of strangers. It's important to remember not everyone will betray your trust. The fifth sign is holding on to disappointing past experiences. Now, we all have moments in our past that we wish had gone differently. These experiences can leave a scar, creating trust issues that spill over into our present relationships. When we dwell on past disappointments, we're not just living in the past, but we're letting those experiences shape our present and potentially our future. It's like viewing life through a lens smeared with yesterday's dirt. But remember, healing is possible. It's essential to understand that everyone is different and the actions of one person do not define everyone else. Forgiveness isn't just for the other person, it's for you too. It's about letting go of the baggage that weighs you down and keeps you from moving forward. 
In doing so, you create space for healthier relationships that are grounded in trust. The past should be a place of reference, not residence. Sign six is a lack of open communication. An integral part of any relationship, open communication forms the backbone of trust. When we feel uneasy about sharing our feelings and needs with others, this discomfort can be a clear indication of trust issues. In the realm of trust, silence is not golden. Bottling up emotions or hiding our desires does not foster a healthy relationship. Instead, it creates a barrier, a wall of distrust that gradually widens the gap between individuals. Conversely, open communication encourages understanding and empathy. It creates a safe space where vulnerability is not seen as a weakness, but rather a strength. It's through this openness that bonds are strengthened and trust is nurtured. However, it's important to remember that open communication is a two-way street. Not only do we need to express our feelings and needs clearly, but we also need to be receptive to others. Open communication is key in any relationship. The seventh sign is avoiding risks. It's a natural instinct to shy away from danger, to choose the safe path over the unknown. But when you find yourself continuously evading risks, or refraining from trying new things due to a fear of disappointment or getting hurt, this could be a signal of underlying trust issues. You see, trust isn't just about other people. It's also about trusting in life's process, trusting in your own resilience. If you're always playing it safe, it might be because you're worried about what could go wrong instead of focusing on what could go right. This fear-based approach can limit your experiences, your growth, and ultimately your happiness. Remember, life is full of ups and downs. It's okay to take calculated risks. It's okay to stumble, to fall, to learn, and to grow. Not everyone is out to hurt you. Trust yourself, trust the journey, and embrace life with all its uncertainties. The eighth sign is constant anxiety. Now, anxiety is a feeling we all encounter from time to time. It's a natural response to stress, uncertainty, or change. But when anxiety becomes a constant companion, especially in your relationships or social life, it might be a sign of underlying trust issues. You might find yourself constantly worrying about the intentions of others or feeling restless about how you're perceived. This perpetual state of unease can be draining and can significantly affect your quality of life. It's like living on a shaky ground where you can't find a firm footing and that's not a comfortable place to be. But remember, anxiety isn't just an enemy, it's also a messenger. It's your mind's way of telling you that something needs attention, so don't ignore it. Instead, listen to it, understand it, and take steps to address it. Seek help if you need to. Anxiety is a sign that something needs attention. To wrap things up, here are the eight signs that you may have trust issues. First, we discussed how difficulty in opening up about your thoughts and feelings could indicate trust issues. Bottling up emotions doesn't do any good, and it's crucial to find a safe space to express yourself. Second, constant suspicion without clear reasons could be a sign of trust deficit. It's important to keep in mind that not everyone has ulterior motives. Third, if accepting compliments seems like a Herculean task, it might be due to low self-esteem or trust issues. It's okay to acknowledge your achievements and feel good about them. Fourth, if you find it challenging to trust new people without concrete reasons, it could be a trust issue. Remember, every person is different and deserves a fair chance. Fifth, holding on to disappointing past experiences that continue to haunt you and affect your current relationships can also be a sign of trust issues. It's essential to learn from the past, but not let it rule your present. Sixth, a lack of open communication about your feelings and needs could indicate trust problems. Open dialogue is the key to understanding and empathy. Seventh, if you're always avoiding risks or trying new things out of fear of disappointment or hurt, it could be a sign of trust issues. Remember, life is about taking calculated risks. And finally, if you're constantly feeling anxious or restless about your relationships or social life, it could be due to trust issues. Remember, it's never too late to work on trust issues and improve your relationships.